All right, here we can see me taking apart my friend's computer, trying to get the CPU cooler in here. Here's mine, slowly disassembling it. Got to, of course, take off the uh, motherboard to get the back bracket of the CPU cooler, which is obviously behind it. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a tight fit in this case. I'm worried about the width this way. And I also worry about the side fan. Hopefully that doesn't get in the way. It's pretty low, but this is one big CPU cooler, so I don't know. We'll find out when I get back to you guys. All right, here we have the just the actual cooler and no fan or anything. I didn't hook up all the stuff yet because there's no point in hooking every single part up and then to find out this doesn't fit. But here we go. Moment of truth. And it fits so close. Alright, here we have it all done, put back together, and now we're gonna see how it fits with the case. Damn. Everything's good to go, and it is a tight fit. Honestly, those little metal pointy things off the CPU cooler are a millimeter away from the plastic side window. First startup. And there you can see the CPU cooler with probably half an inch on the top, I don't know, a tight fit on the top. So close to the fan, it's ridiculous. It's on top of the fan, but like I, I think it's touching it, but at the same time it's not. Definitely a tight fit. And to the width of the case, those little points right there are, I think, touching the plastic side view window. So this is, I think, the tightest fit you could ever have for a CPU cooler, especially one of this size. And I still love how you can adjust the speed of the side window. You can shut it off and at the turn of the knob speed right back up. This also controls the front fan. And I'll get back to you on the temperatures and stuff.